Hi, my name is Ariana Smile, and today we are reading Hippospotamus by Genus Willius and Tony Ross. Are you ready? Let's begin. Hippop Hippopotamus had a spotamus on her bottomus. Poor Hippopotamus. It's measles, said Weasels. You sat in a breezel. You caught a disease. There's only one treatment. Expose your seatment to sunshine and heatment. Potmus stood on her head, tail to the sun, like Weasel said. But this pot, but the, blah, but the spotmus stayed red. It's hippopox, said Fox. Wear woolly pants and socks. Wear petticoats and frocks. But Potamus got Hotamus, Grumpimus, and Grotamus, and she still had the Spotamus. It's jungle fever, said Beaver. I believe we should leave her to scrub her skin with soot. So Potamus got Sootamus, from Nosimus to Footamus, but the Spotamus stayed put. It's Hippo Lump, said the Lion. It's Potto Mump, said Screw. It's Hippo flu, said Ryan, but no one had a clue. I'm a doctor, said the croc. Do you feel any pain when I stroke it and poke it? Let me try that again. A needle in the bottomus will rid you of the spotmus. Despite his perfect shotmus, the cure was in vain. It's a blister, said her sister. You should pop it right away. It's trapped hair, said Brown Bear. Just smother it with clay. It's notimus, what rotimus, you clotimus, his snake. This lippy hippopotamus is allergic to cake. Cut out chippochocomus, eat lettuce for a week. With a spot on hippo's bottomus stuck firmly to her cheek, then all sat in snotimus that there came a little lad who searched round a lotimus for something he once had. I wonder what it could be. He knew he put it somewhere, but at last he had forgotten us until he saw the body of the spotty hippopotamus. The small boy had a sneak peek and tweaked the hippo's bum. That's not a spot, he squeaked. That's my bubble gum! Ew. Kids, note to self, please do not eat bubble gum from a hippopotamus, even though if you think it is your spotamus. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching this episode of Ari's Reading, and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next week. Goodbye, my lovelies.